Hey everybody, it's Tavi, Tavi.com. JEdwardsBlackIR.com. And this is another episode of... Artist Reality. Tonight, we're doing an on-location shoot at an exciting event here. Apollo Nova, which, as you know, Jay is a member of... Hello. ...is doing one of their cool, collaborative, interactive art demonstrations down here at the Lockview. The Lockview in Akron, right across from Lock 3. We're right across from Lock 3. It used to be the Lime Spider. It used to be the Lime Spider. A lot of people still know it from that. As I recall, it used to be Mr. Bilbo's, and well, I loved it when it was Mr. Bilbo's. Not that there's anything wrong with the Lockview. Lockview's fantastic. But there used to be a really cool painting right here of like Bilbo's house. Now there's like eight really cool paintings. Now there's a bunch of really cool paintings, and they're all paintings from the Lock from uh, Apollo Nova. Yes, they are. But enough about that for now. We actually have other shows that we're going to talk about today. But we're going to come back to the Apollo Nova. We'll come back to Apollo Nova. So, so first thing. First thing, we went out to the new city art on Front Street, and we interviewed Allie. We had the great honor, Allie, Allie Everhard. One of Red Light and City Art's own Allie Everhard was out at that, had her first show with City Art. Really cool exhibition. Well, and some of the people that watch the show might not be too familiar with Allie. Yeah. She hasn't done a show yet with us. This has been her first show, and she did a really cool idea with the photos, printing them on to the other surfaces, Yeah, which we both thought was quite an interesting kind of concept there. It was very new for me. This is something that I'm not familiar with, where you can actually take pretty much any surface and turn it into a photoreactive surface by putting the emulsion on it. But she can tell us more about that. She's going to tell us more about it, so check this out. So? Hey everybody, check this out. We are here at the City Art Gallery for the opening night of the Ali Everhard exhibit. And this is, of course, you probably heard of Allie because she's one of the artists at Red Light. And so she came across town to do a show here and it's totally outside her normal box. So Allie. That's true. Let me check this. Yes, I'm recording. Hey Allie. Tell us about the show. It tell is, us, Allie. <laughs> I will tell you. It is painted photo emulsion okay. on canvas. And then these are photograms, which is actual flowers pressed on top of the photographic paper, or canvas in this case. And it's exposed. And then you get this. Th this is like, like totally <laughs> blowing my mind because I thought that like to do a photograph, you had to have photographic paper. I didn't realize that this chemical process could happen on other materials. Well, by painting this stuff on, you make this photographic paper. I'm, That's an awesome My effect. head hurts. <laughs> and I've never seen, I'm not sure if I've ever heard about it. I've definitely never seen it before. I like the way you've done it too. It's, it's got sort of this very, I, I don't want to say, um, I don't know, mission style look to it. I mean, and probably the way that it's mounted so sort of primitively, mm -hmm. and then we see the rough edges of the canvas, but really yeah. cool stuff. What was the inspiration? Uh, there was no inspiration, really. It was just, right. it itself was the inspiration. It just kind of emerged out of... The process. The process, yeah. I let it, which is not like me at all. I have to have everything planned, and what's in my head is what's supposed to happen, and when it doesn't, then I kind of go crazy. But this, I just let it happen. So that would explain why, like Todd said, it's a little bit away from your yes. normal style. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very cool stuff. Well, it's a great departure. Actually, uh, Allie is one of our more busy photographers at the gallery. We rarely see her because <laughs> she's always out on shoots. She does an awesome job with wedding and other types of photography as well. Yeah. I do mostly weddings. Mostly though, yeah. weddings. This is a real departure for her. So if you want to see more of her work, I'm sure you have a website, don't you? Well, I have a MySpace. Okay. It's uh, Allie Everhard Photography. So it's, so it's MySpace.com MySpace forward slash Allie Everhard Photography. And that's huge, so we'll put it right there so that you can go to that page and see all this cool art that she also creates. Do you have Facebook? Well, I, a personal one, but I do not have Okay, that. no business one? Yeah. And Facebook wait, is where it's at. Come see, on. You can also see some more information on valleyartandyoga.com. Valleyartandyoga.com. All right, cool. So thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Very cool show. And the show's up till when? Uh, December 10th. So hurry up and get down because when you're seeing this, it's like probably December 8th. So you got to get like, <laughs> hurry up and get down to City Art to see the show. All right. Thanks a lot. Right. Thank, Thank you, you. Allie. Bye. Impressive, right? I mean, I didn't I didn't expect that at all. I liked the way the pieces had sort of this finished look and yet sort of had this primitive mission style to it. Well, I like how their, their photo works, but taken to another level. Yeah. It's almost like uh, getting that hands-on experience of a painting. Agreed. Yeah, it was a very, very cool look. So that was Allie Everhart. If you want to check out more of her, check out her website. Do one of those, though. Right there. 
And I don't know, you got anything else? I just thought it was a great show. Man, this show is going so and fast. Actually, uh, she's going to be doing another show coming up January 9th at the Red Light. At Red Light. So you want to check that one out. There's going to be a live band, and it's definitely going to be a fun show. Of course, this is, yeah, we'll get this one on the air in time it'll, for that. It'll be off the hizzy. Off the hizzy. And we, we had another little stop that we wanted to talk about in this episode. Uh, during a Art Walk a couple weeks ago, we were out at a brand new, another brand new gallery at the Corners of Commerce and Culture. And it's called Urban Canvas. Urban Canvas. And really? they have quite an interesting idea going on there. Yeah, it's his own kind of thing where he kind of recycles old furniture and gives it a fresh look and turns it into art. So check this out. Yep. Hey everybody, this is Todd V. Jay Edwards, Artist Reality. And we are at a brand new gallery space downtown Akron, the Urban Canvas, proprietated by... Jason Scala. Jason Scala? I didn't even see her lips move. That was awesome. So tell us a little bit about what's going on here. Um... I guess I got two different things going on. I got the plywood and I got the metal office furniture. That's the newer stuff and that's okay. more or less what we're pushing trying to get into. Excellent. Is all the unused uh, you know, office furniture around. You walk into somebody's office, why wouldn't you rather see that than a blank filing that, cabinet? That gross, I guess gray like a cloudy Ohio day file cabinet. Exactly. 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 So, so trying to art up the office space a little. Exactly. Graphic design firms, you know, there's one of those every few feet, like a Starbucks, the, I guess. In Akron, you know? there is. This is who? This is Elizabeth. Hi, She's I'm Elizabeth. More or less our spokesperson and uh, <laughs> gallery runner. Cura curator? Curator. It's fun to play. She's got the my little play gallery <laughs> space. But you can Wait, see... Don't go away. Look, okay, he's trying to get away from us. <laughs> and this is our neighbor's baby, Charlotte. Charlotte is always at our gallery because we run the red light galleries. Hi, Charlotte. I see Hi. you all the time. But she's playing all coy she looks now. Like she, she looks like she knows you. Yeah, uh-huh. But uh, you can see... What I was going to say is you can see what the back of that cabinet looks like, and that's essentially what they all look like when they come to us or when we acquire them very boring very kind of scrappy like you said brown beige gray yeah so it's like why not do them up um we can do them to suit someone's office or home or basically you know you can just kind of see where jason goes with things and let him play and i mean the possibilities are pretty much endless so so would you very say cool. that at least half of the mission statement would be to just add some color to the drab world of of business exactly business home i don't think that there's any limits as to where you can put these things it's just they're they're very functional i'm i'm not joking i have um painted lockers as my new armoire for my clothes so um yeah it's 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 i think a very urban way to store things it's a locker that you know was either in a bowling alley or a high school at one point and now it's uh you can hang your clothes in it you can put you know your office materials in it so very awesome. You guys have a website for where you can see all this groovy we stuff online? Definitely. We have a new website just started. There's a few pictures and some contact information. Thanks for the It's dot <laughs> com. No worries. We'll actually pop that right up there. I like oh. doing the sound effect just to make it happen. So it'll be right up there. <laughs> and I see we have the most coveted thing that we have in an Akron Art Gallery. A sold sign. It's an original take on it, though. It's not yeah. the traditional kind of thing where someone sees it and goes, "Oh, Andy Warhol." I mean, and you're taking the silk screening and still doing your own thing with it, which is great. Functional art. I mean, that's that's a good way to go. And you know, it's our form of recycling too. We we totally um can't you know you can't deny that it's it's taking something that literally a couple of these people were like you know what I'm gonna throw this away unless you guys want it for something. Mm -hmm. And here we've turned them around and made them completely decorative, functional, giving them a second life. So very cool. Also, we hope to see you at the upcoming Cabin Fever Fair, sponsored by the City of Akron. No charge for booth space, and it's the only outdoor wintertime art festival in the state of Ohio, at least as far as I know. So be sure to check us out. Okay. Cabin Fever Fair. This has Great. been the Artist Reality. Todd V. Jay Edwards. We'll see you soon. Well, Jay, what'd you think of that stuff? I think it's great. He's taken two different worlds, merging them together. Yeah. Quite like, you know, what we found interesting about alleys when yeah. when pe people take two things and bring them together like that. Yeah. It's awesome. He's actually repurposing uh, stuff that normally would have ended up at the dump and giving it a new life. Yeah. So this has been another episode of The Artist Reality. Number one on the web. And for this evening, I'd like to say aloha. Stay in touch with reality. See you next time.